Hello, I'm Paul Pluter and welcome to Collections in One Photo. And uh, the emails have been running hot and I've received some, just um, a few pics here. So let, let's have a look at what's come in here and let's have a bit of a, a discussion on what I think of these uh, collections. And uh, the first collection here is obviously an economy collection. He's got an Invicta, a Casio, a Seiko and a Timex. And uh, one thing's for sure here, at least they're all the same caliber of watches. They're all pieces of shit! And uh, i got to say honestly, that Invicta is not a bad looking piece there. That, that's not a bad looking, you know, it's, it's not a copy sub, but it's, um, yeah, it's got those looks. That's cool. It's kind of, it's kind of you know, it's an anti-status watch and um, I think it looks cool. The uh, the Seiko dive watch, yeah, that's that's an interesting thing. That not too bad at all, not too shabby. And uh, I I gotta say the uh, the Timex on the green strap there, that's actually not a bad looking watch. It looks quite nice, and uh, I, I think that's um that's quite a reasonable piece. And uh, the Casio plastic watch, Jesus, it's very retro. So you know that's 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 an interesting. That's an interesting combination there, and it's it's kind of uh, it's not as bad as I thought. Okay, next collection. Okay, wow, we've got someone here who's got a bit of taste. Explorer two, no date sub. We've got a uh, a GMT two tone ceramic bezel, and we've got a uh, a blank pane chronograph. Okay, which one's the odd one out? I think it's the blank pane. You know, I, I, I don't know. Blank pane itself was a huge, you know, that was a very, it was a great name in watchmaking, but it died a long time ago. And uh, blank pane today is nothing like the blank pane of yesteryear. So to me, I really haven't, I really haven't um, desired a blank pane. You know, I've never really wanted one. 50 fathoms maybe, but uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice looking piece on a leather strap. It's, it's certainly, they're not cheap retail, that's for sure. But uh, it's, it's kind of, when I saw this collection, the first thing I say, what the fuck's with the blank pane? You know, it's kind of, I think it's the odd one out. And I'm not saying I don't like it, but for me, I'd much rather see a reverso in that collection than the blank pane or a... Um, if you want a fancy chronograph with a real posh name, wouldn't they, uh, a Breguet Type 20 be kind of more exclusive? I don't know. The blank pane just doesn't do anything for me. It's a nice watch, but it just doesn't cut it. Explorer 2 white dial, fantastic choice. No date sub sapphire, fantastic choice. Two-tone GMT with ceramic bezel, fantastic choice. These are good pieces. These pieces here will last you a lifetime. Love your box. I've got a similar, actually I don't have a small one like that, but I've got a, a bigger box. Great box. And um, all, all I can say, out of 10 for your collection there, I'd give you an eight and a half. Okay, so, you know, that's a, that's a good, good collection. You've obviously got a bit of money there. So, uh, yeah, now that's fantastic. And the final collection is from my good friend, Greg Kinder. And uh, I asked Greg to send me some bloody nice shots and the, you know, the slacker, the slacker sends me a shitty iPhone photo. You know, I mean, what do you fucking say? But, you know, the guy's got a fucking Nikon D3. You know, it's a pro camera and I get this shit. But anyhow, let's not talk about that. I just say, what a perfect collection. You know, it's just absolutely perfect. He's got a quartz a manual wind and two autos. You know, just a perfect combination. And uh, I've got to say, the Seamaster, yeah, that's one piece you could get almost get away with in quartz. That's okay. That's okay. Good bang per buck on that piece there. The Speedy manual wind, great piece. Great piece. It's a nice, nice watch that there. I love it. I think it's a, um, it's a classic. And if I didn't have the Breguet, I'd certainly still have my Omega, that's for sure. But um, that's a nice piece. Explorer 2, 
Well, that one came from me. That's that's my Explorer 2. I sold it to Greg. Yep, that's nice. And the Datejust white dial with Romans. I mean, with that, you know, if Greg had taken a a better fucking picture, this collection here would look a um, a fuck lot better. But uh, yeah, it's a good good collection. Nice dynamics. Uh, I'll just ho I'll, I'll, I'll ask Greg to send me a better pic. I mean, for a man who's got a D3, this photo's a disgrace. I'm Paul Pluter from Paul Pluter Prestige. Tell me what you think of these collections.